Hi guys, my name is Lori Shoup and I'm a conservation educator here at Salado Wildlife Education Center in Frankfort, Kentucky. Now I am so glad you guys decided to join me today because I'm really excited about today's lesson. We're going to be talking all about frogs and toads. Now did you guys know that all toads are frogs but not all frogs are toads? That sounds confusing, don't worry, because today we're going to talk all about the ways that they are similar and the ways that they are different. Now, frogs and toads are both in a group of animals called amphibians. So what's an amphibian? Well, amphibians all have certain things in common. These are called their characteristics. So let's talk about some of the things that amphibians have in common. First up, amphibians are cold-blooded. So what does cold-blooded mean? Well, cold-blooded means that the animal is going to either get hotter or colder depending on the temperature that it is outside. So if it's really hot outside, do you think that that animal is going to be hot or cold? It's going to be really hot. And if it's cold outside, is that animal going to be hot or cold? Cold. Now amphibians are also vertebrates. So let's figure out what a vertebrate is. I want everyone at home watching to give me a big thumbs up. Now take that thumb and put it in the middle of your back. What do you guys feel? That is your backbone, your spine. So a vertebrate is an animal that has a backbone. So amphibians, they all have backbones. Another thing amphibians have in common is that they live in both the water and the land. So when amphibians are young, they have gills and live in the water. But as adults, they have lungs and can breathe air. Have any of you guys ever seen a tadpole before? So here we have what a tadpole looks like. So these guys, they have gills and they live in the water, but they grow up to be frogs. And frogs have lungs and can breathe air. Here we have the life cycle of a frog. Now there are 23 types of frogs and toads in Kentucky. So how do you tell a frog from a toad? Well, we said earlier that all toads are frogs, but not all frogs are toads. Now, what that is, is toad is a word used to describe a certain type of frog. So why do toads get their own group? Well, that's because toads all have certain features in common that most other frogs do not have. Now, we've already talked about some of the ways that frogs and toads are alike, but now let's talk about some of the ways that they are different. Now, one way that frogs and toads are different is their skin and how they use it to breathe. Now, we're humans, right? How do humans breathe? <sighs> with our lungs. It's a picture of some lungs right there. So I want all you guys at home to do this with me. We're gonna take a nice deep breath and see how we breathe with our lungs. <sighs> so frogs, they have lungs too. They can use lungs to breathe but they also use their skin to breathe. Now, when most people think of frogs, they think of wet, slimy skin. Now, that slimy skin is really thin and helps them to absorb extra oxygen through their skin. That's really gonna help them underwater. But their skin also allows them to absorb extra moisture or water from the air. Because frogs, they don't swallow water. They get enough water through their skin. But if the skin is too dry, then the oxygen isn't gonna pass as easily through their skin. That's why you often find frogs near the water. But toads, toads, they don't lose moisture as quickly so they can live farther from the water. They also have bumpy skin. And you can see it really well on this picture here. They have glands behind their eyes that secretes poison. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna help defend themselves against animals that wanna eat them. Now if you have a pet dog and let's say it goes and eats a toad and that toad lets poison out, it's probably not gonna kill your dog but it might make it a little sick. And frogs, they don't have those glands. And because of the bumpy skin, a lot of people believe that if you pick up a toad, you're gonna get warts. But I'm here to tell you that is not true. You're not gonna get warts from picking up a toad. Now, another thing that is different between frogs and toads is teeth. Did you guys know that frogs have teeth, but toads don't? So frogs, they have a very itty bitty teeny tiny row of teeth on their upper jaw. But frogs, they don't chew their food, so why do they need teeth? Their 
teeth aren't the same as ours, and they use those teeth to hold on to their food before they swallow it, so they've got a nice good grip. Now another thing that is different between frogs and toads is the way they lay their eggs. So frogs, they lay their eggs in a cluster, like a big blob of eggs, but toads, they lay their eggs in a chain. So if you guys wanna know if you have frogs or toads in your pond at home, all you have to do is look for their eggs. If you find clusters of eggs, that means you've got frogs living in your pond. And if you find rows of eggs, that means you have toads. Now, how can you easily tell the difference from a frog and a toad just by looking at it? Well, toads, they tend to have wide bodies with shorter back legs for hopping further. And of course, they've got that dry, bumpy skin we talked about. And frogs, frogs tend to have thinner bodies with longer back legs for jumping farther. And they've got that smooth, wet skin we talked about. Now that you guys know how to tell the difference between a frog and a toad by looking at it, let's play a little game. I like to call this game frog or toad. So what we're gonna do is we are going to work together by looking at those differences we learned to see if this is a frog or a toad. So first off, look at its skin. Is its skin smooth and slimy or is it dry and bumpy? What do you guys think? Now let's look at its body. Is its body wide and thin? Or wide or is its body thin? Next, look at its legs. Does it have long legs or short legs? All right, so what do you guys think? Have you taken a good look? This is a frog. Okay, let's do one more, all right? Next up, take a look at its skin. Does it have smooth, slimy skin? Or does it have dry, bumpy skin? Does it have a wide body or a thin body? Does it have long back legs or short back legs? All right, do you guys think you know? It is a toad. Now, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope maybe the next time you guys see a frog or a toad in the wild, you'll be able to tell which one it is and look for some of those differences. Bye guys.